If you've been watching this channel for very long, you know that I like First Edge knives and the stuff they make. Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at a new tool from them. I'm talking about the First Edge Survival Hatchet. We're going to do some hatchet stuff, some knife stuff, and oh yeah, we're going to check the balance. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. So the folks at First Edge Knives were kind enough to send me one of their survival hatchets so I could test it out and show it to you. So we're gonna do some, some hatchet stuff with it, some knife stuff with it, and we are definitely, as I said, gonna check the balance because I, I thought about just doing a balance test video and that's all, but it's actually seems like a pretty useful tool, so I thought we would Go ahead and use it first so stick around to the end you will definitely see some balance testing but let me tell you a little bit about first edge we'll talk about the specs of this thing we'll take you down the old stump top and then we'll uh go to the old balance orientation and rotation device and see how well it performs so i had to get my notes so, so if you see me looking down i'm looking at my handy dandy notebook <laughs> some of you will get that if you got kids that maybe you're a little bit older now anyway let's talk about the specs of this thing again this is from first edge um, the first knife I reviewed from them was their 50-50 survival knife. It is truly a tank, and um, it was actually included in some survival kits that the Navy SEALs actually deployed with. Um, I don't know all the details of that because I'm not military, but it was certainly in, in a couple of uh, what they call kits. Or so. Anyway, um, this thing is about 1.94 pounds, 31 ounces of Elmac steel, which if you know anything about steel, Elmac is a really high-end powder steel really really good edge holding uh, capabilities and if it's heat treated properly it's also pretty strong I, i'm telling you that the 50 50 survival knife is like a tank uh, it features 12 and th three quarter inches overall length with a three point uh, a little over three three and a, almost three and a quarter inch cutting edge a four point and three quarter inch head length from here to here uh, it's available with either a black oxide or a bead blasted finish this one is the black oxide obviously you have a choice of black green tan or blue handle scales and the handle length is 6.0625 inches i don't have the metrics for for those of you who are still stuck in that old metric system but um that's okay because this is 100 percent usa made too by the way uh, features a striking pommel on it that you can actually use to um strike stuff it's got pointed you could use this thing for, for, for a to break glass or anything you need to break it has a lanyard hole in it and it features um a molded kind of combo kydex nylon sheath which it fits right on here really good it's, it's, it's a pancake style sheath goes together and then it's got the retention strap up here and you can carry this thing uh, on your um either on your belt like so or you can just use this as a, as a mask and carry it in a, in a survival pack or whatever. And just like all the other sheaths, um, which is actually how First Edge got their start. I said it, um, the first thing we looked at was a survival knife, but they actually got their kind of got their start making um, improving a sheath for the Navy SEALs. Then they wound up um, parlaying that into several knives and different things. So anyway, uh, the price on this thing is right at 200 bucks on Amazon, 190 something bucks. So there's that. Not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's definitely high quality tool so let's um take you down to your stump top now instead of me rambling along we'll get to doing some of that hatchet knife stuff then we'll check the balance on this thing and wrap it up okay so here we are with the uh first edge survival hatchet first let me a little closer up look at the sheath you can see it's, it's just two layers of kydex molded around screwed all the way around the perimeter with a um very securely fastened and very well sewn nylon loop here so uh, just first quality stuff again made 100 percent in the usa except the steel i think the steel comes from sweden i didn't mention this the handles are scales are g10 and just really rock solid this thing is by the way around just over a quarter inch thick about a quarter inch thick so pretty solid there too um nice striking pommel here nice solid solid here so um first thing i want to try to do is just to see this is a, a hatchet a survival a axe hatchet or whatever just want to show you I, i've got my notes here we'll see i have not tried this i don't know if it's going to work or not the paper's already kind of damp we're here in georgia at the end of july it's hot 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 but it's a wet heat so but let's just see <laughs> i 
Okay. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. Sucker's sharp, okay? Oh, look. I found a fish hook. Let me set that over here. That must have been left over from a survival kit I looked at. I thought, let's just try this. I don't know if this will work or not. Oh, my goodness. Would you look at that? Would you just, would you just look at that? See that? <laughs> okay, we have established that it is very, very sharp. And I can tell you from my experience with this first edge, um, LMAX, it'll hold an edge for a long time. But um, it is a hatchet, right? So what would you normally do with a hatchet? You would chop stuff. So I think it might be worthwhile that we just chop something. And I happen to have a half a piece of something hard here. I don't know what this is, but... Um, just gonna do a little chopping on it just to see how well this thing works. And this is not your optimal chopping because, oh man. Now this is not a, uh, a lumberjack ax. It's not made to cut, you know, cut down huge trees or anything. And I'm trying to be real careful because I really don't want to cut my hand off either. But it does pretty good. It bites in really good. This is some really super hard wood too. Just turn it over just to give you a glimpse of the grind angle so it's not as fat here across here as a real hatchet which is going to certainly limit it's a little bit of its workability because um any of these flat steel you know survival type pack axes pack hatches are certainly a little bit of a compromise but man i don't like having my hand that close to this thing chopping so i'm gonna move it over here like this I'm doing it kind of easy because I do not want to cut my hand. That would be could be a really catastrophic injury and I don't want to have one. So just taking it easy. If you're in a survival situation where you would need a survival hatchet, then realistically, you want to take it easy too. You want to be careful. It's not worth taking a chance on really severely injuring yourself, being overly aggressive with any kind of sharp tool. And quite honestly, I probably wouldn't be trying to cut something this big in a survival situation because there wouldn't be much of a need for it. I'd more likely be cutting stuff about this big, but I don't want to cut this one because this is kind of my baton. So there's that. But you can see how it's really doing a good job of cutting. So now just to try this again, since we've chopped with it, and <laughs> it's still still shaving so not bad there i did mention this is my baton so um and this is again probably not going to find something that looks like this in the woods but it's worth trying to baton a little bit i think just to check it out so let me back you up just change my angle here a little bit here see if we can get up here put that up there and do a little batoning I want to hit the top of it like that. So we got pretty pretty grainy wood here, stringy wood. It's kind of So, beat the heck out of it. Again, it's a big hunk of steel. Even thicker than the uh, survival knife from the 50-50. So, chopping pretty good, batoning pretty good. What about some finer work? Um, I got a piece of cedar here. Go ahead and uh, I think we'll split it one more time. I get down to a, some dryness here. And just see what we can do as far as carving this thing goes. Let me tilt you back down where you can see what I'm doing. So just like any thick blade, it's got a little bit of a compromise trying to carve feathers because you got to 
you gotta get the angle just right to overcome the thickness of the bevel. But it's just by golly, just 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 cruising through that wood like a you know proverbial hot knife and cold butter. It really does just cut so well. Alrighty, so there's that. Not bad there for, for a hatchet. Um, now let's take a look at my uh, let's take a look at my good old standby the uh, fatwood because you got to see how well it carves fatwood, right? So well, not bad. What I don't know is is how well it'll actually scrape. Cause um, it feels kind of sharpish. Let's just see. Try it like that. It's not scraping really well. A little bit there. So I would probably, honestly, take a file. Probably will take a file and just clean that up just a little bit. Just, just, just make it a little bit, a little bit sharper. But we got us some firewood there now. Let's uh, try one more thing with this thing. All right, so I got my ExoTac Nano Striker. I don't know if we're going to get any sparks from it or not. Barely right there. Maybe let's see if we can get something going there. Maybe. Not really. Hmm. Well, since we've got this, let's just see. Finally, perseverance. Okay, well, other than not striking a ferro rod, which is easily remedied with a little bit of file or grinder here, this thing performs very, very well. Um, the edge they put on this thing allows it to be used almost as capably as a knife. Not quite, but, but it's, it's, it's not really uncomfortable to use like that. And you can really do some pretty fine carving if you need to for starting fires or whatever. Solid as a rock, um, just seems like a really well-made tool. But uh, as you know, here at Survival on Purpose Worldwide Headquarters, we maintain a state-of-the-art cutting edge knife testing facility, um, blade testing facility. And I like to put everything through the balance orientation and rotation device here to make sure it's balanced which by the way needs some renewal so i'm not too sure how well it's going to perform with this axe but we're going to give it a shot and see right now so by the way i've done zero calibration so hopefully i've got my at least estimated calibration correct and we won't be fooling around too much trying to get this thing um, calibrated properly maybe we need a little more calibration So you can see it actually hit twice straight on the edge, but it didn't stick because the uh, balance orientation rotation device is getting wore out. Finally, we got one to stick. Whew, okay, we're gonna call this thing balance. It's wearing me out throwing it. <laughs> it should have stuck about five or six times. It only stuck twice. So it looks like it's time to renew the old balance orientation rotation device. But anyway, we're gonna call it balance.
Okay, well, as you can see, the old balance orientation and rotation device is getting pretty chewed up. Um, at least it's chewed up around the target and not, not around the perimeter, which is a good sign, I think. So, um, but obviously it's going to need to be renewed. Um, I, I'll probably include this in another future uh, balance video, just so you can see that it really does stick pretty well when it, when it does stick. Um, in fact, um, I had a lot of requests just to do a balance video, just balance highlight video. I may just do that soon too. I had to go back and pull some footage from some other videos, but um, that's not the purpose of this video. This video is to take a, a quick first look at the uh, First Edge Survival Hatchet. I gotta say, this thing performed better than I expected, to be honest with you. Um, these, you know, these little flat, flat hatchets, survival style hatchets, a lot of people make them. I've had mixed, mixed, um, mixed success with them using them, but this one, uh, maybe it's just because the LMAX steel, maybe it's because of the level of, of quality and care that First Edge puts into all their, all their tools and knives, at least the ones I'm familiar with, but it performed really, really well. Um, it's got just a great balance to it. Uh, it's very usable and, and choked up as a, as a carving situation. Um, I definitely am going to, um, sharpen up a little area here somewhere to uh, I'm probably going to put it like right here that seemed like that would probably be the safest spot just to a strike a ferro rod because that's something I think is important to have any kind of a survival tool but uh, other than that it's just a really high quality little little packable survival hatchet two pounds but um, it could could you know potentially take the place of a knife this could be a, a good choice maybe potential choice for a one tool option so chops pretty good uh, definitely batonable if you need to split something a little bigger um, you can carve with it uh, you can uh, if you need to throw it you can throw it so <laughs> and it's got this, this pokey thing right here too so anyway once again thanks to the folks at First Edge for sending me this so I can show it to you and as always thank you for watching Survival on Purpose I put out a brand new video every Friday and every Saturday and very often random videos throughout the week you can check out another one by clicking right there if you're not subscribed you can click right down there in the corner subscribe click that little bell notification and get notified whenever i put out those new videos random or otherwise i really appreciate the support and thank you so much for doing your shopping through the amazon links it really does help the channel once again my name is brian you're watching survival on purpose remember survival is not an accident so be prepared i'll see you next time